Hello, in this tutorial I want to continue the operator overloading which we've started at, uh, in the last few lessons and today I, we're gonna make the plus mi uh, minus multiply division such operation so arithmetic operation okay let's get started first thing I want to tell you I ap apologize for that it should be const when we uh, make an equal just is uh, because we will get an error otherwise all right and uh, as I so uh, you shouldn't uh, return with a reference you should return with a normal value usually the rule is if you change uh, this class and return with this then you want to return with a reference but if you create a new instance of the class and return with that that you should return by value so not reference okay operator plus that's right and we have a thing oh thing uh, yeah this is it so when you write a plus b then the, that's pretty much mean you call the oper call the operator plus from a so a dot operator plus and then the b so pretty much that is what that's what it mean all right and actually uh, let's create it okay you didn't see that all right uh yeah make it mm. so start with the definition so thing reference so thing we return with a thing and inside we are inside the thing so thing and operator plus as you can see and uh, thing t for example all right now just make a new instance of this class so thing tmp and uh, actually because i haven't declared i think a, <coughs> a constructor with no parameter we should post pass a parameter but never mind so tmp dot something equals something we just make equal to the something in this class and now we add the something from the t class so tmp dot something uh, plus equal t dot something all right then and uh, we simply return with the, the tmp all right that should be enough now we want to you didn't see that so first we create a new instance so this be this what which will uh, store the result which we return okay and t3 make it equal t1 plus t2 simple right and uh, now the t3 should be uh, 15 all right if we didn't uh, make too much mistake it should compile okay first the cpp okay mm. yeah i think to uh, put the const uh, to here so the prototype is not the same as the definition okay <laughs> i'm getting old all right it's compiled now we can run it and actually mm, okay uh, there is something here i first thought that the program's fault but the computer is right as always uh, it gives the result 10 although i initialize it to 10 and 5 and i forget this assignment operation so it it is the uh, five and five and five plus five is uh, ten so it work well all right uh, the uh, other uh, similar uh, arithmetic operation you can do very similar to that so just uh, change the operator and uh, and what uh, and what uh, should it uh, do in here so for example uh, make it 
to uh, a multiplication and then it is just change that and now you have the multiplication so actually that was our tutorial it was pretty simple the next tutorial I will be uh, show you the I stream and O stream so we can write out a class with without uh, so we can write out a class like that uh, in this case now it will give an error for us because we don't know how to write out the T3 it's so we tell the, uh, tell the compiler how should it write out and then it can write out like this and actually for now that is the last uh, operating overloading tutorial but then I will make the vector class I talked uh, this is a pretty simple vector class actually the simplest vector class it can be built and in and then there we make an, uh, a few operator overloading and uh, and like that so yeah uh, that should make sense all of it uh, garbage we do it because uh, no one need it so in this uh, uh, example a lot of these tutorial were actually just waste of resources although in case of vector it will be very very useful that's why I will show you that uh, complete example so you can uh, think that so you can uh, mm, understand how is it work and why is it useful okay thank you for watching and have a great day